One year ago, tragedy struck the small town of Dadeville. A mass shooting at a Sweet 16 birthday party left four people dead. Yeah, and today the community is remembering the lives of those who were lost. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitts is in Dadeville for us, where the community is still healing from this. Sally? There were so many lives changed forever that night. Sean Kevia Smith's mother sat on this bench for hours waiting to hear if her daughter was okay. It was four o'clock in the morning when she got the heartbreaking news that her daughter did not survive. Kiki, as she called her, was one of the four victims. Her mother, Miranda Turner, says this is a difficult day. The one year mark since her daughter died, but she says she misses her baby girl every day. Her smile, her health, very helpful. All she did was laugh and giggle and everything. Sad, sad, very heartbreaking. Just can't believe it. You think it happened yesterday or today. Kiki was a senior in high school just one month from turning 18 years old, and she wanted to be a nurse. Raymond Porter is the superintendent of schools and you lost not only Kiki, one of your students, but also Phil Dowdale. Dowdale. Correct. That was difficult. Uh, still is difficult. Uh, you know, we always want to remember those students. Uh, two other uh, young people lost their lives that night. 32 were injured. Um, <clears throat> it's difficult starting school, it's difficult letting out for Christmas break, but today, is especially difficult. Uh, that one year anniversary, uh, we will be having a celebration of life a little later this afternoon. Um, but we want to remember those students as leaders in their community, leaders in their school, uh, students that had a plan. Both of those students were attend were going to attend college. Uh, one in the healthcare field, the other one was going to pursue uh, athletics. So we couldn't have been more proud of them uh, in having a plan, but to have their life cut short, to be remembered in Daveville for this uh, has been a, a, a hard one to swallow. It has been one year, but there's no timetable for grief. What was the mood at school today? Uh, you know, students, we would now will say we've done a really good job of addressing uh, <clears throat> the mental health challenges that students uh, would be faced with. Uh, we have emotional animals uh, on campus and quickly put those in place. We have mental health counselors on campus. So today was not as somber as one would uh, suspect that it could have been. But I think that's probably because teachers and students alike chose to remember their life and not their death and their impact on future students who come through Dable High School. I know that's what you will do tonight at that celebration Absolutely of life. Superintendent, thank you so much for yes, joining us. Thank we appreciate you. it.